Welcome back here to Mountain Connections. I am joined by our great friends from Nexus ITC. Here with some great tech tips for you today. We have Earl Foote, the CEO, as well as Travis Gunn, Vice President. How are you two gentlemen doing today? Really great. Thanks Excellent. for having us. Excellent. Always a pleasure to have you guys. And we're going to be talking about file organization today. It seems like kind of a dry topic, but it's super important. And it's something that everyone needs to learn, especially if you're going to be working on a computer on a daily basis. It's a hard lesson that I had to learn here at Park City Television. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the common errors people make uh, when, when saving files and the, their organization uh, styles and tactics. Sure, yeah, and I, I agree, Diego. I mean, really, it's, it's kind of a basic topic, right? But it's, it's really one of the most basic things that people can do to be organized and efficient uh, in their workflows, you know, in their day-to-day -day, uh, workload. Uh, and it, they can help themselves uh, just find things and do things far quicker and better if they're organized in, you know, in doing it. So um, I think some of the things that we see uh, are just uh, really a mass disorganization of, yeah. I, I, I don't save everything to one central location, right? Like, uh, I save a lot of things to my desktop, uh, you know, mm -hmm. of my computer. Um, I save stuff in various different folders that are all over my computer. Sometimes I have stuff that's in the cloud. I might have some stuff on Dropbox and some stuff on, you know, on uh, Google Drive. And then I have some stuff on my computer and they're not using really a central repository that mm -hmm. they've, <clears throat> consciously decided, okay, this is where all my files are going to live and this is what the structure is going to look like, right? Um, and so just being completely disorganized about it, I think, is, is the biggest area. And even seeing. just like that hypothetical, <clears throat> like keep, trying to keep track of where those files, you know, if someone <laughs> asked me like, where's that expense report? And it's like, oh, is it in the Google Drive? Is it in the cloud? Yeah. Is it on my desktop? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, so it's, it's a great way to just become efficient and organized in that sense. Yeah. And you also talked about uh, the probably the most common thing is people uh, saving to their desktop. And, and we kind of talked about this in a previous conversation. Travis, do, let's talk about the, the kind of the risk of doing that and right, saving to your desktop. Right. I know it can be easy, it's in front of your face, but why, why yeah. shouldn't we do well, it? Well, and we, we've all seen that, right? That one desktop that you look at and it is full. They've <laughs> yeah. got this really cool picture of their trip to Argentina that you can't even see because it's got hundreds and hundreds of files on it. Uh, and, and what we've typically found is people know where one or two files are. Right, mm -hmm. it's the ones that they use every day. But going back to your expense report analogy, what we're finding is people are either they're editing old versions of it because they found an old version, and they're they're at that point they're they're losing data, and there's a gap in in the in their files, right? Or um, they're having to create new documents yeah. because of you know I've got a template that I started with. Right? Yeah. So the lack of organization on a desktop, and <coughs> to be honest, most of the time desktop. Files don't back; they're not backed up. If if you've got another external source that you're backing up to, right? so is, is the best way to actually use one of like an external hard drive, something like that. What what form of repository is the best way to do that? Is is it the cloud or is it an actual physical hard drive? Sure, and I, I think each uh, scenario is going to vary a little okay. bit, right? Um, uh, generally speaking, though, in today's world, we'd recommend that you you choose a robust, secure cloud okay, uh, yeah. solution to store your files, right? Um, because then you have access to it from all your devices anywhere. And if you have to go to, you know, if you happen to be in France on vacation and like the office says, I got to have this document right now, and you have to go into an internet cafe and just get on any computer, you can, you can still get to your yeah. data and send it to somebody if you have to. Um, of course, you, you need to be careful because there's a lot of public cloud solutions that are not necessarily super secure. I was going to ask and they're not this, backed up. Because the cloud has become such a big thing, there's yeah. so many more businesses offering the service. <laughs> what are the criteria for a good, strong, secure cloud? Encryption, 21-bit encryption, like what, what is the standard <clears throat> for this? Yeah, certainly encryption is, is part of it. Um, you know, a good track record of keeping you know, the data safe from hackers okay. um, is going to be part of it. Um, uh, I know. would say working with and, and, and using a, a trusted solution, right? Okay. If you've not heard of the company, I probably wouldn't save my data there. Yeah. Right. They may they may propose a, a you know very inexpensive price. But if if you're not living in that industry on a daily basis, I would go with a company really that you've heard of. Something Absolutely. somebody that you're aware of. Yeah. I think a good a good way to kind of look at it a perspective is it's almost like treating it, it like a bank, right? I mean, all of this information that you're storing is just as it's intellectual property. It's just as valuable as, as money that you're taking yep. to a bank. You wouldn't take it to uh, Joe Blow down the street to stuff under his <coughs> mattress for for a discounted price. Right. You want to take it to the best, most professional people right. who are going to do exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And if you're sense. talking about business data, 
make sure you get the business plan, right? Yeah. Don't be living off of the personal plan for a business because there, there, there are differences, and particularly when it comes to security and when it comes to what you can do with the data when somebody leaves your organization and being able to, uh, to retrieve that data and not allow them to take it with them or steal it from you, which we've seen, uh, honestly, situations of where somebody's entire business model is taken by you know, a former staff member wow. because they had complete access to all the data on the cloud drive, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and so you, you want to be able to revoke access immediately from, uh, you know, um, team, you know, former team members who leave you uh, from all their devices. And so you, you need, if you're a business, get the business plan. Don't get the personal plan. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then make sure you're you're backed up. Um, you know, we can talk about a lot of other um, techniques of how to be uh, effective and organized. You know, with with, with your files, but but make sure that you're backed up because even the business plans for a lot of the major cloud storage solutions out there, they, they don't include a backup as um, part of your plan. Okay. You know, if you beg them, they may have some backups they can get you, but it, you know, it, it's really a crapshoot. And so make sure you have a good secondary backup that is backing up your cloud storage okay. um, and that you're validating that backup that you know, every month, minimum every quarter, you're making sure that that data is getting backed up correctly and I have those files in case you know, and, and we see it happens. Uh, companies get hit with a ransomware and it encrypts the cloud storage drive, okay? Wow. And so, even though it's not resident to your computer or your network necessarily, right? Um, the, you know, ransomware can still infect it. Absolutely. And so if you have an offsite backup with a, you know, a third an, a third party solution, then you can retrieve those files quickly. Some built in redundancy And the way you test it is very simple. Every month, every quarter, go and grab a file or two, just pull it back down, make sure you can open it, on a, on a very simplest term, right? Just mm -hmm. make sure that you can access that stuff in the event that you know maybe next month you do have a loss of data, or maybe you lose your laptop. Yeah. Right. You left <laughs> it on the roof of your car and you drove away. Right. Who knows? Yes. Just Any test anything it. could happen. It'll take a few minutes. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And lastly, for you guys, what are some quick? Uh, it seems to me like like getting this organization down is is really kind of more of like a habit sort of thing. Like yep. uh, learning these file paths and learning the most efficient way to organize. Some quick tips on how uh, we can develop, I guess, these habits or what we should do to to organize uh, files on our computer. I think uh, first of all, do it in the moment. Okay. Don't try don't to say I'm going to go back and you know do this a yeah. year later. Uh, make sure you're organizing in the moment. Um, choose a uh, a file structure that works for you and makes sense. Okay. Categorize right by the types of files, um, and then nest you know folders under other folders. Uh, for example, categorize by year, you know, or categorize by project, and then use file names that make sense. Okay. Use file names that you can easily search later on. Even include a date in the file name, if that uh, if that makes sense for what you're doing, right? Excellent. And then stick with it. Just stick with it. Don't change it. Consistency is key. Don't move files and folders. Just stick with what you've done. Consistency what you've is key. Yep. Once you've developed a plan, stick with it. Again, thank you guys so very much for uh, joining us and sharing some more great tips. We really appreciate it. Our thank pleasure. You. Absolutely. Yep. Be sure and uh, check them out at nexusitc.net. Uh, you can visit them here locally in Park City as well. They'll, they'll service your business in any way that you need uh, and answer any tech tips that you have or questions that you have there. We have much more coming up right here on Mountain Connections. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.